Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So as you probably guessed by the title of this video, I am doing another styling haul today. I decided to keep it super casual because I don't know about anyone else, but I don't have any events coming up anytime soon. But having said that, there is something kind of nice about wearing something other than just joggers around the house. So I wanted to show you guys some sort of like casual styling that you can do if you kind of want to make yourself just feel a little bit better and like you've made a bit more of an effort but we're also not going to sit around in bodycon dresses and like sequins, you know? So they're all super easy kind of chuck on outfit. A little bit like an oversized shirt like I'm wearing here. So this one is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, it's not actually in the styling haul video. But I thought I'd let you guys know just in case anyone is wondering. I absolutely love the colour of this one. And the little top on underneath is also from Pretty Little Thing. But that also features in my haul. So stay tuned. So anyway, I'm going to start off with a similar outfit to one I've got on here. So this is another oversized shirt. These ones are amazing. They're also really soft. So this is actually one of their plus size shirts. So I got it in a size 16 just because I wanted it to be like really, really oversized. All of my checker shirts, they have to be big. Especially like I love how when the sleeves sort of like dangle down like this one is here. They're just, I don't know, I feel like... If you're going to wear an oversized shirt, it's got to be oversized, you know? So with this, I've just styled it, as you can see here, with this little grey crop top. These are so handy. I mean, these kind of tops, you can just have in your wardrobe in so many different colours. And they're just such a staple, like such a wardrobe staple. So this one, I also really like the cut of this one. I like that it's a really square neck. So with this, I'm wearing these black denim jeans from Pretty Little Thing. I am obsessed with Pretty Little Thing denim at the moment. I actually stopped buying their denim over like a year ago because, I felt like it didn't fit me quite right. I think I was too tall for it. And just recently, I don't know what's happened, but their denim is an absolute dream. I'm obsessed with it. I all my jeans from there now almost because it just fits so well. The denim itself is quite soft, so it feels really comfortable to wear. So I'm just wearing these plain black mum jeans with this here. So I have throughout this haul just put in some pictures, like this one here, of a full outfit shot or each outfit. Just because I sometimes feel like you can't get the full vibe when you're filming for YouTube because you can't get a full on outfit shot. So I thought I'd put in some pictures just so you can see see how it looks and also how it would look on the ground you know so with this gray shirt outfit I've also just put on this little bag these kind of style of bags you just can't have too many of and this is actually a really really easy just like cheap alternative to a more of like a designer style so I love this one and I like the painting I think it makes it look a little bit more expensive so yeah so this is outfit number one and this is just perfect for it's that typical kind of like I've made no effort but I look really cool outfit so next up I've got two outfits where I'm wearing the pretty little thing grey mile joggers these are an absolute wardrobe staple for me I mean it's absolutely no secret that I'm obsessed with joggers and I just feel like they're so easy to style and now more than ever joggers are just completely coming into their own because we don't really want to lounge around on the sofa in jeans do we but joggers are the way forward. These ones I just love the colour of. So the first outfit that I'm wearing with these grey joggers is this sort of white on white vibe. So I'm wearing the little ribbed crop top that I've got on in this video. These are so good. Such a good cut. The material's really nice as well. It's got a real nice stretch to it so it kind of like hugs the body in the right way. If that makes sense? They're just, yeah, I really, really like them. I've got one in black as well. And then over the top of this, I put on this oversized. So this is actually like a thick corduroy shirt. So I suppose it's more like a shacket. Is that what they're calling them? I think like a shirt jacket. Because it's so much thicker. So especially as this, it starts to get a bit warmer, you could wear this just on its own as this is now. You wouldn't need anything else. This I got in a size 14 because again, I wanted it to be extra big, really oversized. This comes in another, another colour as well. I think it comes in like a mustard, which I actually now really want because I love the fit of them. I find it's quite like a vintage feel, which is really nice. And they've just put on some gold jewellery with this just to dress it up a little bit. And then I'm just wearing some white trainers with it. I'll link a pretty little thing alternative for these shoes because there is one almost identical on their site, which would work really well for this. So with the joggers and also the white trainers, I'm just wearing a pair of these are pretty little thing sports socks which say pretty little thing down the side these are so handy to just have in your wardrobe because they just work so well especially if you want to wear like denim shorts with just trainers i love wearing a pair of white sports socks at the moment but these are great because you can kind of tuck the joggers into the socks and then into the shoes if that makes sense so it just holds everything together so then for the next outfit that i'm wearing with the gray joggers i'm also wearing another shirt jacket situation this is so cute so this is a really good dupe of the one that they did in zara 
That one in Zara, I feel like, just kind of came and went and you couldn't get it anymore. But this is such a good alternative to it. It's so soft, it's really snuggly, it's actually super warm. I was so hot while I was filming this. But I love the colour of it. So underneath this, I put this little white hoodie to go just kind of keep it really casual. But this is like a nice way to kind of dress it up. I feel like it's such a casual outfit because it's just joggers, hoodie. But I feel like the little shirt jacket thing over the top makes it look a little bit cool. So it's kind of dressing up in a way. This hoodie on its own is just perfect cropped hoodie. The, just the joggers and the cropped hoodie is a perfect self-isolation attire if that's all you're looking for is something super minimal this is perfect and then with this i've just got my white balenciaga triple s's on so kind of any white trainers i think would work really really well for this look and i've just kind of lifted up the bottom of the joggers a little bit just to kind of create a bit more of a gap just for styling purposes and then like with the other outfit i'll just put a picture in here of what the full length instagram style shot of this what it looks like. So next up I've got these PVC trousers. Now I'm absolutely loving wearing this style of trouser with an oversized sweatshirt. Super simple. So this one, I, I love the fit of this sweatshirt. It's so good. So this is a size large and I love the way that it is literally large. There's nothing worse when you get a sweatshirt and it kind of clings to the bottom of your legs. I love sweatshirts when they are oversized. So this is amazing. And I feel like when you put it with a PVC pair of trousers, it makes the outfit look slightly more dressy than maybe just wearing leggings or jeans. And then so with this, I've just put on some black boots. I've got my Doc Martens on with this. This is again, another like effortless outfit. The only thing is these trousers get so hot so so hot so i would say do not wear them on a hot day but if it's cold like it is in the england at the moment they're perfect the only other thing i think you could do is put maybe a pair of tights underneath the pvc trousers and i think you'd get less hot because it would kind of you know stop you from sweating if you want pvc trousers or anything pvc before you'll know exactly what i'm talking about the socks that i'm also wearing with this look these are also from pretty little things so this is another pair of their kind of like chunky sports socks these are just plain white again such a handy pair of socks to have in your wardrobe i wear these with almost everything i've got so many pairs of these socks just because they're so easy to kind of style up and then also with this look, I've just put on a pair of these really chunky gold earrings from Pretty Little Thing. If you put on a pair of chunky earrings, it makes it look like you put in a little bit more effort when maybe you haven't. Plus, I am just living for gold, like, hoop style earrings at the moment. I just can't, I don't feel complete without them at all. I have to finish an outfit with them at the moment. And then, not that I'm really going to be needing them because I'm not really going outside any time, but I've just started these ones up with a pair of this, these sunglasses. Such a good little pair of sunglasses, these goes with everything. Adds a real kind of like chic, cool look to an outfit and they do go with everything. I also love these sunglasses if I'm wearing like a leather jacket. It just makes you look cool, you know? <laughs> and then here is the full length Instagram version of this outfit so you can see it in all its glory. Just in case you were wondering what it looked like all together. So next up, I couldn't have a styling haul without a, just a leather jacket jean combo because it is one of my favourite go-to casual outfits. So this leather jacket, so it's sort of like a patent leather jacket. It's a little bit shinier than just a normal leather, but it's super oversized, which I'm obsessed with the fit. Fits really, really, really well. So underneath the leather jacket, I've just put another one of these really simple white crop tank tops. Again, just something so easy to have in your wardrobe is you can style them up with pretty much anything. So my favourite thing about this outfit is the pair of jeans that I'm wearing. So these are the boyfriend, ripped knee boyfriend style jeans from Pretty Little Thing. I am in love with the fit of these. For so many reasons, they're like super baggy, so they have just got that effortless cool look. But there's really soft denim, so they're really, really comfortable to wear. I feel like I'm going to be wearing these a lot in summer as well, because I love them just on their own with just a simple little like crop tank or something like this, like this one I've got on here. Here. I actually wore these jeans recently on my Instagram and so I'll put the picture here of also what they look like with another kind of outfit. The coat is also from Pretty Little Thing in this picture if in case you were wondering but they just go with everything. They're such a go-to pair of jeans for me now. They look especially cool slightly tucked into trainers or like some sort of like really chunky boot. They're just the way that they sit is just perfect and then here is a full length outfit picture of that outfit so you can see it so lastly i've got another check shirt look i had to finish on one because i feel like they're just my go-to when it comes to just it's kind of like if i don't have to put much effort into an outfit i'll either go for a leather jacket or a check shirt 
it's just an easy, easy option. So this last one is this green shirt, which I love the color of. Again, this was from the PLT Plus. So I got this in a size 16. Again, it's really soft, so really, really nice to wear. So I'm wearing this little black ribbed crop top underneath. This is exactly the same as the white one that I've got on here. So I feel like you stock up on these because I've already worn this one so many times, like so many times. It just goes with everything. And then the jeans that I'm wearing with this look, as you can see here, so they're super ripped, um, real like extreme. I've actually got them on in this little video here, so I can't hold them up for you. But I really love the fit of these. And again, it's that really super soft denim, so really comfortable to wear. I'm gonna put in here a full length picture of this outfit so you can see. Just, and this looks, these jeans are so cool tucked into boots. So I'm wearing my Doc Martens with these here. Just again, another super easy outfit. And actually, most of the stuff in this haul, you can kind of wear, like mix and match and wear together because you can wear like all the different colored tops underneath all the different shirts. You can wear the different jeans with different shirts. So you could also wear like these two jacket shirts over just like the jeans with a little crop top if you didn't want to wear the joggers. It's quite a good haul if you are looking for some wardrobe staples and some wardrobe basics because a lot of this stuff works together and I feel like when you're struggling to style that's normally what happens is because you go to your wardrobe and it's because not that much actually kind of goes together if that makes sense. So I feel like if you really nail the basics it makes styling for just like an everyday outfit so much easier. So there we have it guys, that is my PLT casual styling haul. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching and that some of these outfits have inspired yours, even if it means you're just wearing it around the house. It's all right to make a bit of an effort in your own home. No one's gonna judge you and believe me, in about two weeks time, we're probably gonna be wanting to make a serious effort because we're gonna be bored of not. I mean, who knows, might be the secret dress in my lounge by this time next week, but we shall see. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching. As always, I will link everything that I've worn in the video below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!